Good morning, everyone. We're here bright and early at Porsche Livermore. They're doing a meetup and then something like a four hour rally. Not going on the rally, gonna be reviewing a 2015 911 GT3 today. So that'll be pretty much just as fun, but a lot of really cool cars showed up. 918 Spider, a couple of GT3 RSs, uh, some 993 Turbos, an RUF 993 Turbo. Found a fan. Hey, how's it going, guys? What's your name, man? Joe. Joe, cool. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. What are you out here doing? Oh, we're here for the uh, Porsche drive today in Livermore. Cool, cool. Yeah. What, are you, what are you driving in? Oh, we're, we're going to be in the Targa, I think. Nice, nice. Doing? Yeah, so it cool, should be a good cool. day. Just picked up the GT3, driven it for about 30 minutes and absolutely blown away. First impression, I like it a lot more than the Turbo S. It's a lot more raw. Sounds ridiculous. It's got a full IPE F1 exhaust system. Oh man, and it's specced so well. It's got some yellow accents, HRE wheels, carbon everywhere. I think this is one, one good looking car. So usually for the reviews, I like to find a nice area to do the stationary shots in the beginning. Right now we're at a winery. But this car is so aggressive looking. Got Kent and Matt helping me out with the uh, rolling shots. Takes three people to do those. Gotta have someone driving a car, someone driving the car you're reviewing, and someone filming all at the same time. But got a lot of positive response on those, so I want to continue to keep doing it. The interior of the car is pretty basic. It's typical 911. Doesn't really look any different than uh, a base model 911, apart from there's a lot of carbon fiber and Alcantara. Uh, but it rides really hard, like really, really hard, but hard in a good way. That's awkward. Um, <laughs> but yeah, even in comfort mode, it, it's it still rides hard, but uh, it's meant to, right? It's it's a borderline track car, and it's just so responsive. The PDK is fantastic. Having a blast with this car. It's gonna be a good day for sure. We're getting the rolling shot set up on the GT3. Got this sweet road. We're using a XC90 with a the hatch open so we're gonna have Kent hanging out the back with a Canon 5D and a stabilizer um, so that we can get some awesome shots of the magnificent GT3 it drives so well it's oh it's a dream getting some sweet shots of the GT3 we got a new camera position when Kent comes back he's sticking out of the sunroof uh, with the rig should be some cool shots I haven't seen uh, what it looks like yet but I am loving this car so much. The sound is out of this world. You'll have to hear it and uh, I'll do a point of view. And here, Kent's coming around, he's filming. <laughs> do anything for the shot. There we go, look at that. That's dedication, thanks Kent. just wrapped up finishing the GT3 review my gosh freaking blown away by this car probably the best car I've ever driven in terms of the driving experience and just how accurate precise and nimble the car is and uh, the owner of this car also owns that similarly specced Cayman GT4 oh what a cool combo now check this out if you guys follow its curb who makes insanely good photos met him today I didn't know he had this car, but he has the same car as me. How cool is that? Lamborghini Gallardo, wrapped it, matte black, looks pretty cool. He's got super leger rims on it, wheels, whatever. Um, but it was a pleasure seeing uh, one of these, don't see him too often. I miss my car, so. It's got the freaking glass engine cover, which is the one option I wish mine have, but it doesn't. But nice to see uh, another one out there. So brilliant day. Um, let me know what you think of this style of vlogs. I like kind of giving you a behind the scenes look at what filming's like. Um, if there are any additions you want me to add? Any more things? Let me know. 
Look forward to seeing you next video.